Hello everyone, and in today's tutorial, we're going to be using OpenCV to set up a pixel coordinate system and how to just basically calculate the distance between the camera and the object. So let's get started. So like the previous tutorial, I'm not going to go in depth through every single line of code, but I will explain um, each blocks of code. So go into our GitHub and find the OpenCV.java. So once you're here, I'm going to quickly just do a run through. So these variables are going to be quite important. So the first variable is, or these first uh, two variables are basically the coordinates of the X direction of the, the camera and the Y direction. And then here is the width, which is going to be a very important variable. Here we're just initializing our webcam and here are, we're going to set the camera width and the camera height of the resolution of the camera. So this is pretty much up to you, but um, just make sure that you have this in a stored value. Here we're going to talk about this a little bit later. This is used to calculate the distance. Um, here is we're going to initialize our OpenCV, which is a jo uh, just like setting up the camera and setting up the OpenCV stuff and setting up the pipeline. Um, here we're gonna just going to have it so we can you know stream it on the FTC dashboard. Here we're basically just going to print out our the coordinates and the distance, and that's pretty much it. Um, so now moving to the actual OpenCV part. So I did leave a bunch of comments throughout the code. So hopefully um, you guys can read these comments and understand what I'm doing. So basically we're first applying this yellow mask and the most important thing about this is the scalers. So this is what truly determines on what color you're detecting and these scalers matter a lot. So um, the reason these scalers matter a lot is because if you don't have the right HSV values, you actually won't be able to detect anything. So um, the reason I have 100 to 180 here is because I know red, um, this is just based off research on online, uh, red usually spawns between about 0 to 30 and about like 160 to 180. But I wanted to cover more values so I just went from 100 to 180 and this is just what worked for me. Um, the next value is saturation. I recommend just keeping these values from either 50 to 255 or 100 to 255 and same with the value um, these are i wouldn't really change these values i would keep them relatively around these same spots because you want to be able to detect uh, different levels of brightness and things like that and just different levels of intensities of color um, here we're just applying these masks onto it and then that is the main part um, so once we do all this <clears throat> Uh, the contours and the uh, frames and the masking and all these things uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the largest blob or the largest contour like just if I see a giant uh, chunk of red I'm not gonna try to detect all the tiny bits of red in the background so how do we do this we basically just take all the contours and then just figure out which one has the greatest area and then we're gonna return or we're just gonna use the greatest area and then only care about that one. So that's why we have this if statement. So we're only caring about like the biggest contour. And if it's null, then we're not gonna do anything about it. So here is where the magic happens. Um, we're basically just going to, this line will draw around the image and in a red outline. So you can actually change this just by um, changing the scalar and the thickness. Um, and then here we're going to just use calculate width. Um, this will give us the width of the object. Here we're going to just do a bunch of labeling. We're going to label the width and here we're going to label the distance and here we're going to label um, the coordinates and here we're just going to do a little circle so dot directly in the middle of the object. And once we have this, we basically have a functioning OpenCV pipeline that will be able to tell us the width, the distance, the coordinates relative to the pixel and resolution and draw us a dot while um, highlighting the object itself. So here are a couple important formulas I want to go over. Uh, here we just have the calculate width, which is fairly standard, but our, our calculate get distance. So this distance formula I'm going to show you here. So here is the distance formula. The distance formula depends on basically four different variables. The first variable is the distance itself, which is what we're calculating. Uh, the next distance 
or the next variable is W. W stands for the actual real life width of an object. So let's say this is maybe, maybe like two or three inches this width right here. So we're going to actually have to calculate this width. So we're going to calculate the width of the cone and F is the focal length of the camera. And we're actually going to have to convert this into pixels. And I'll show you how to do this later. Well, I'll give you a quick example on how to do this. So we can calculate if we just have a robot and the camera. So if we have the cone like this, we can calculate this distance and then using the camera, we can also calculate the width in pixels. And we can also calculate the real known width of the um, thing. And then we just have to solve for the focal length of the camera. And I'll do a live demonstration on how I calculated this um, right now, pretty much. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to calculate the focal length of this camera. So the first step you're going to do is calculate the width of the object you're doing. So this cone was roughly about 3.75. Very rough calculation. You could definitely do a much more precise calculation if you were to do it yourself. Um, and the next thing you're going to do is calculate the actual distance from here to here. Now, this is a very important step. So uh depending on what you actually want to know so let's say you want to pick up the cone and you want to know the distance if you want to know the distance from here to the center of the cone then you're going to measure from here to the center of the cone and you have to keep it consistent and also you want to measure in whatever um unit you want to measure in so you're going to have pixels and you're going to have a degree of measurement which i'm going to use inches for this um example so um i'm gonna take my measurement go to the camera i'm gonna measure all the way up to the center of this cone which is roughly about 14.25 inches so now we have the 14.25 inches of the actual distance and we have the width of the cone which is about 3.75 okay so basically what i did was i calculated the width the distance and um, using the FTC dashboard, I basically just um, turn on the camera and the camera will tell you um, in the text the pixel amount. So you have to keep everything the same. Do not move your robot, do not move the cone. Otherwise it's gonna mess up everything. So once you have a solid reading of the pixels, then what you want to do is you have all the values. Now you just have to calculate for it. So you're just gonna do some basic algebra, multiply the P over and divide the width. So it'll be D times P divided by width is equal to F. Okay, so what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna type this in. D times P, 14.25 times 188, okay? And then we're gonna multiply it by the distance, or sorry, divide by the width, 3.75, boom. 714.4 so now um in there should be a variable that's already in the file just replace that number with whatever your number that you calculate replace that number with that make sure to replace the width and the focal point the um the pixels will already be calculated for you um pretty much or like uh, in this formula, you're already going to have the width of the pixels because this is actually the, the, um, the width of the actual object at that current point of time. So we're, we were just using it to solve for F, right? But in the actual, um, like when you actually use this code, uh, once you have F, once you have W, P will be something that your thing will automatically obtain just by our OpenCV code. So you'll be able to calculate distance. If you have questions about how to do this calculation, just leave it in the comments and I'll make sure to answer your questions. Okay, so it is roughly telling us about 14.8 inches away. So I'm gonna roughly measure to the middle of the cone and bring it here. And indeed that is pretty much 14.8 inches. So I hope you found this useful and I would like to know that um, it does kind of assume that the camera is already lined up with the cone. Um, the calculation might be definitely off if it was to the side. 
So keep that part in mind because obviously um, that would be the hypotenuse and we're calculating this, the length. So um, keep this in mind that it is pretty accurate, but it is not 100% accurate. So use this to whatever your heart's content is, but keep in mind that um, the actual rough estimation calculations will play a huge role in how accurate you want your visual detection system to be. So if you have any questions about this at all, just make sure to leave it in the comments below and I'll definitely get to you and answer you.